Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. One of the most controversial amendments in this day and age is the First Amendment. A lot of people believe that the First Amendment equates freedom of speech without any restrictions, but a lot of other people believe very differently. So while understanding this dilemma, people need to realize that freedom of speech, just like anything else, has stipulations, making it not really, quote unquote, freedom of speech. A perfect example of this is standing up in a crowded movie theater and yelling, fire, just because you can. Well, if you decide to do that, the First Amendment will not protect you. Freedom of speech is the right to communicate one's opinions and ideas without fear of government retaliation or censorship. It seems like more and more that freedom is being tested every day, and it's causing a major racial divide all across the U.S. Hello and welcome to Lovely TTV. Today we're going to be talking about the whole Kyrie Irving and Kanye West situation. They are currently trending all over Twitter on this Good Sunday, okay? So what is going on right now is that Kyrie Irving has definitely been going through it. So let me bring you guys back a bit. So what basically happened is that nobody, nobody at all. Kyrie Irving took to social media. So basically what happened is that on October 28th, Kyrie Irving took to his social media page and he decided to basically share an Amazon link um, to a documentary on Amazon I had never heard of, but it's called Hebrew to Negro, Wake Up Black America. So soon after that, he caught a lot of backlash because they said that the documentary had a bunch of anti-Semitic things in there. And so he was getting a lot of backlash on Twitter. So then Kyrie took to Twitter and he said this, I'm an omnist, and I mean no disrespect to anyone's religious beliefs. The anti-Semitic label that's being pushed on me is not justified and does not reflect the reality or the truth I live in every day. I embrace and want to learn from all walks of life and religion. And so he wrote that, and then he went on to say this. Mom, thank you for naming me Kyrie. I am grateful you hid me from the world long enough until I was ready to overstand who I am. My roots and my ancestors lead me back to Africa, and I am damn proud to overstand all of the knowledge that was left behind for application. So that is what Kyrie Irving wrote. And so he was still facing a lot of backlash. So then what happened was the very next day on October 29th, after the Celtics had played the Nets, um, Nick Ferdell, a reporter, he was basically asking Kyrie Irving what he meant by posting those tweets. And Kyrie Irving was basically saying, like, you know, I have the right to share a link and share any documentary. And, you know, this doesn't have anything to do with anti-Semitism. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch the video. Kyrie, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones' position, narrative, court case that he had with Sandy Hook or any of the kids that felt like they had to relive trauma or parents that had to relive trauma or to be dismissive to all the lives that were lost during that uh, tragic event. My, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults, and it's true. So I wasn't identifying with anything of being a, campaign, a campaignist for Alex Jones or anything. I was just there to post, and it's funny, and it's actually hilarious because out of all the things I posted that day, that was the one post that everyone chose to, chose to see. It just goes back to the way our world is and works. I'm not here to complain about it. I just exist. And to follow up on the promotion of the movie and the book. Can you please stop calling it a promotion? What am I promoting? Put it out on your platform. But I'm promoting it? Do you see me doing, do you see By me in front of the, it out there, the people title? People are going to say that you are promoting. Yeah, I put promoting. it out there just like you put things out there, right? 
Yeah, but I, okay. I, it's not you put stuff. things out there for a living, right? Right, but my Great. stuff is Great. not so let's move on. filled let's with anti-Semitic stuff. Let's move on. Don't dehumanize me up here. I, I'm not I'm not doing I'm that. Another You're human free being. to post I can what, post whatever I want, so say what, that and shut it down and move on to the next question. But Kyrie, you have to understand that by I don't have post, to understand anything from you. But, but it's not me. Nothing. By it's no people that you're making up, bro. Move on. But by posting move what on. you Next did, question. Anybody Do you guys have any more questions? And from they're me? gonna say, "You guys have any more questions?" Because this is gonna be a beliefs. clip. This is gonna be a clip that he's gonna marvel at. Is this any more questions? But you're not answering the question. Oh, this is another answering your question. Oh my God! Let's make another Instagram clip so we could be famous again. Next question. Kyrie basketball related. All right. So then we fast forward to November third, and so on November third, Kyrie issued a statement along with the Brooklyn Nets, and they basically had announced this. They said that on Wednesday, they will both, so not only Kyrie, but the Brooklyn Nets, they will donate $500,000 towards anti-hate organizations due to Kyrie Irving tweeting a documentary that was deemed to be anti-Semitic. Between Irving, the Nets, and the Anti-Defamation League, a nonprofit organization devoted to fighting anti-Semitism and all sorts of hate that undermine justice and fair treatment for every individual, Kyrie then goes on to say... He took responsibility for the negative impact that his posts may have had towards the Jewish community. He says, I oppose all forms of hatred and oppression and stand strong with the communities that are marginalized and impacted every day. I am aware of the negative impact of my post towards the Jewish community and I take responsibility. I do not believe everything in the documentary was true or reflects my morals and principles. I am a human being learning from all walks of life and I intend to do so with an open mind and willingness to listen. So for my family and I, we meant no harm to any group, race or religion of people and wish to only be a beacon of truth and light. So that was a statement that was released to CNN. And then later on that day, Kyrie was once again confronted by a reporter and Kyrie stood his ground. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this. Do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? Again, I'm going to repeat. I don't know how the label becomes justified because you guys ask me the same questions over and over again. But this is not going to turn into a spin around cycle of questions upon questions. I told you guys how I felt. I respect all walks of life and embrace all walks of life. That's where I sit. I think what people want to hear, though, is just the yes or no on that question. Yes or no. I, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. So then once that video went viral on the 3rd, it came out that the Brooklyn Nets were basically going to suspend Kyrie for five games without pay. And that was going to be a lot of money, right? So they decided to suspend him. And then as of yesterday, Nike came out with this announcement that shocked a lot of people. So basically, Nike decided to suspend their relationship with Kyrie Irving. They said that they will not be releasing his new sneaker, the Kyrie Eights, which was expected to debut this month. And they released this statement. They said, at Nike, we believe that there is no place for hate speech and we condemn any form of anti-Semitism. We are deeply saddened and disappointed by the situation and its impact on everyone. So that was a really big bag right there. I mean, they were going to release his shoes, the Kyrie Eights. People have been waiting for these shoes for months. And so they're basically backing away from him. They're saying that between the whole NBA five-day suspension and the Nike bag, he basically lost out on $2.2 million. So this whole situation is crazy. So right now, currently on Twitter, him and Kanye are trending because, as we all know, all of these companies backed up off of Kanye. Kanye has lost millions of dollars, including his school and all types of stuff. And so now people are really on one side or another, and you have these burning parties going on. Um, during the height of Kanye's controversy, there was a Jewish man in Florida who burned $15,000 worth of Yeezys, and it went viral all over social media. Well, today, some black men are burning their Nikes to stand in solidarity with Kyrie Irving, saying that it wasn't fair, you know, that he lost his bag and that Nike's getting rid of the shoes. So I want y'all to watch both of these videos. It's getting really nuts out here. We are continuing the campaign for anti-Semitism and anti-hate. These are pair number seven that are going to be burnt. Danny Schiff from Miami, Florida posted videos on TikTok showing him burning his Yeezy collection. Yeezy, of course, is a collaboration between Adidas and Kanye West. It's pair number eight. 
the next pair of Yeezys that are going to be burnt. Kanye West is continuing to spread his hate and talk his shit. It's time that everybody drops him. Danny told Inside Edition Digital he burned 10 pairs of shoes over a course of a few days. So this is what Kanye's career looks like today. These are the Yeezys that I've decided to burn. I never thought I'm going to say this, but I have a newfound respect for Kim Kardashian for putting up with that idiot for so long. He also gave others incentive to burn their shoes. I would like to offer the opportunity for anyone who wants to join this campaign and burn their Yeezys. If they burn them and they tag me and post it, I will repost and I will make a donation of two pairs of shoes for every one pair that you burn and send me. Danny made good on his promise. All right, so here we are, buying the 16 pairs as promised for the homeless. He also addressed comments asking why he didn't donate his shoes instead of burning them. I don't want anyone to wear this piece of <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate triple the value of these shoes to the homeless shelters so they can buy nicer shoes, better shoes that are not a rip -off. So these Yeezys are going to burn. As for the rest of the 45 pair collection, another 25 pairs of Yeezys, and then I will triple whatever I collect to donate to a charity that deals with hate, racism, and anti-Semitism on behalf of Kanye West, whose career is now- I don't get no damn bad. Yeah, this is what we got to do to all them Nikes, y'all. And them Adidas. It ain't about what you wear, it's about who wore it. How y'all gonna denounce that man because he a Jew, nigga? We all Jews. What y'all talking about? We all Jews. Y'all gotta throw it away, man. Burn it. Cause I don't get no damn about it. All right, so you guys just saw both of those videos of, you know, people burning, you know, shoes, things that they purchased to make a point. So what's even more interesting is that LeBron James was then confronted about the whole Kyrie Irving situation in an interview. And this is what LeBron James had to say. I want y'all to go ahead and check this out. It's, yeah, yeah, I can tell you this. Uh, it's simple. Um, me personally, I don't condone any hate um, to any kind, to any race, um, to Jewish communities, to black communities, to Asian communities. Um, you guys know where I stand. And um, it's part of the reason why I didn't air the shop episode, why we kicked that you know, out of the archives because it was hate conversation going on there. Um, and I don't represent that. Um, you know, I, there's no place in this world for it. And nobody can, can benefit from that. And um, and I believe, uh, you know, what Kyrie did um, caused some harm to a lot of people. Um, and he has since uh, over the last, I think, today or was it yesterday, he apologized. Um, but he caused some harm, and um, I don't think it's unfortunate, but I don't... Um, I All right, so you guys just saw LeBron James. Um, he was definitely backing away from Kyrie Irving. Other people like Charles Barkley had also called out Kyrie Irving as well. So once he started getting backlash and really no support from other people in the NBA, so yesterday night he decided to finally post another apology because he didn't have any support of really anybody in the NBA. And the Nets stated that, you know, he had two times to disavow um, his comments and he chose not to. And so this is what the Brooklyn Nets had to say. We have made repeated attempts to help Kyrie Irving understand the harm and danger of his words and actions, which began with him publicizing a film containing deeply disturbing anti-Semitic hate. So that is what the Brooklyn Nets had to say. And then shortly after that, he had the suspension from Nike. And then last night, Kyrie Irving finally took to social media to issue another apology. And this is what he said. He says, while doing research on YHWH, I posted a documentary that, that contained some false anti-Semitic statements, narratives, and language that were untrue and offensive to the Jewish race slash religion 
and I take full accountability and responsibility for my actions. I am grateful to have a big platform to share knowledge, and I want to move forward by having an open dialogue to learn more and grow from this. To all the Jewish families and communities that are hurt and affected by my post, I am deeply sorry to have caused you pain, and I apologize. I initially reacted out of emotion to unjustly being labeled anti-Semitic. Instead of focusing on the healing process of my Jewish brothers and sisters that were hurt from the hateful remarks made in the documentary. I want to clarify any conclusion on where I stand fighting against anti-Semitism by apologizing for posting the documentary without context and a factual explanation outlining the specific beliefs in the documentary that I agreed with and disagreed with. I had no intention to disrespect any Jewish cultural history regarding the Holocaust or perpetuate any hate. I am learning from this unfortunate event, and I hope we can find understanding between us all. I am no different than any other human being. I'm a seeker of truth and knowledge, and I know who I am, Kyrie. So that is what Kyrie Irving had to say. So like I said today, him and Kanye are trending and people are having major back and forths on Twitter. So while it seems like many people in the NBA are not willing to stand next to Kyrie Irving, it looks like Dr. Umar Johnson is coming full force ahead. He did like an hour live stream over the weekend and clips of it went viral all over Twitter. And basically in this live stream, he's going in on like all the people in media, especially black media. He goes in on LeBron James and, you know, several other people for not having Kyrie Irving's back. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a clip right here. Richard Jefferson, I sentence you to 500 lashes for conduct on becoming a black man. Stephen A. Smith, I sentence you to 4,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Chris Broussard, Rob Parker, I sentence you both to 2,500 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Michael Wilbon, you fat, bald head, no neck midget, I sentence you to 3,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Snow Bunny Shannon Sharp, you're the biggest and strongest of everybody on the list, so I'm going to have to sentence you for 10,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man and saying that no black woman can make you happy. 10,000 lashes for Snow Bunny Shannon Sharp. Who else we got? Don't hate in your head, Kyrie Irving, because they wasn't going to stand up for you. Them NBA Negroes, they are too in love with that paycheck and them snow bunnies and that materialistic lifestyle nobody was going to stand with you brother they was going to leave you out there to dry all right so you guys just saw that clip of umar johnson now i want to talk about another clip that's also going viral on social media this particular video is of floyd mayweather and floyd mayweather is basically you know big up in Kyrie and you know having his back and really showing him solidarity so a lot of news outlets um posted this including um msn and a few other outlets so people thought that basically Floyd Mayweather was giving was giving Kyrie Irving support during all his controversy with the Jewish community but upon further digging it is shown that that video is old and he made that video to support Kyrie Irving when everybody was going in on him last year concerning the vaccine so if you guys are seeing this video all over Twitter and you guys are seeing it all over Instagram it is due to the vaccine and not due to this current situation that Kyrie Irving's in because a lot of people were worried like you know is Floyd Mayweather going to get canceled what's going to happen to Floyd Mayweather but it's really tied to the vaccine video and not the current controversy that, that Kyrie Irving's in Involved in, so I want to make that clear. But now another thing that's come out is that if Kyrie Irving wants to come back and play for the Brooklyn Nets, they are saying that he has to do six different things before he will be allowed to come back. And so I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what they had to say. They said in order for him to be reinstated by the team, Irving must fulfill six requirements, including apologize and condemn the film that he promoted, make a $500,000 donation to an anti-hate cause, complete sensitivity training, complete anti-Semitism training, meet with the ADL and Jewish leaders, meet with the team owner, Joe Tice, is to demonstrate an understanding of the situation. So they're not just going to let him walk back on the team after being, you know, after sitting out five games, he has to complete each of these steps in order for him to be reinstated. So it's going to be very interesting to see where this goes 
after his suspension. I think this entire situation is unfortunate, but like I always say, yes, we do have freedom of speech, but there's no such thing as real freedom of speech because with anything you do and say, there can always be potential consequences. We're living in a whole different day and time, and so people are really going to have to understand are certain battles worth it? I don't know. That's for y'all to decide. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do you feel about the Brooklyn Nets basically suspending him for five games? How do you guys feel about LeBron James speaking up? Because a lot of people felt like LeBron James shouldn't have said anything. He should have just fell back. And before I leave, I want to show you guys this picture. This picture is going viral on Twitter. It's a young white boy. And he went to his Halloween party at school dressed as Malcolm X. It shows that, honestly, if we, if we could just sit down long enough to not be in our feelings and to hear each other out, we'd understand that as people, I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Latino, we have so much more in common than we have not in common. So I really love this picture. I really love that he looked to Malcolm X to be his hero. So I just want to share that picture with you guys. But yes, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys are still subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you so much for taking time out to watch. Have a good day. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.